help for getting a cat despite your allergy to cats. Although some people avoid cats because they fear or dislike them, there is some hope for those who avoid cats because of fear of allergic reactions. A lot will depend on the nature of your allergies. If yours are the sneezing, watery eyes and running nose variety, you may be able to build up your tolerance to cats. However, before getting a cat, you should undergo allergy testing first, particularly if you suffer from asthma. About 30 to 40 percent of children slash young adults with asthma are allergic to animal dander, primarily cats. For more information, read this article from the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Here is a step-by-step -step process for helping to control your allergy symptoms while enjoying the lifelong companionship of a cat. I have personally enjoyed a full lifetime of cats, even though I have asthma and my husband suffered from hay fever. First, rid your home of other allergens, you want to give your potential cat an even playing field, don't you? That is best done by first, ridding your home of as many other allergens as possible, such as mites, dust, and mold. Most airborne allergens, including cat dander, cling to soft material, such as curtains, drapes, fabric-covered furniture, rugs, and carpeting. Fortify yourself with a natural remedy. A few years ago a good friend asked me for help in controlling his allergies because he really wanted to adopt a cat. The step by step here is very similar to the process we developed. He didn't particularly want to go through a long process of immunotherapy shots and chose one of the natural remedies I suggested. Bio Allers, compared prices, worked for him, however. You should always check with your own personal physician or allergist on the appropriateness of this or any similar product. Visit friends with cats, I know you've been looking forward to this step for a while now and you're eager to finally get your hands on a cat. You'll probably talk to your friends and co-workers about their cats by now, so be a little selective in choosing where to start. For your purpose, it would probably be better to choose a friend who only has one or two cats, and at least one of them should be outgoing. Go to a major cat show. So far, your progress with meeting cats on an individual basis has been encouraging. Now is the time to tiptoe a little further into the water by attending a cat show. Most cat breed clubs hold shows highlighting individual breeds. Visit your local animal shelter, assuming that all has gone well with the previous steps and that you have built up your resistance through gradual exposure, along with prescription medications or natural remedies. This will probably be your final step before actually adopting a cat. <laughs>